Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka is that your hair? Y'all see this? Look at this. Oh, bitch. Wow. Do you see me? <laughs> this is looking like human hair. Oh my god. And this is synthetic. This is cute as. <sighs> this is serving scalp. I think I look so freaking cute right now. I look like I'm about to steal your girlfriend in this wig, for real, for real. Tell me this isn't a her giving hair unit. When I tell y'all the price of this wig, this wig costs $9.85. $19? $23. Honestly, I'm floored. I just wanna know who's adding this one to the cart. Get into it. This looks like I'm getting an award, honey. This is the type of wig where if somebody's trying to talk to you, you don't say nothing else. You just drop the cash app. <laughs> Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today is not $20 Tuesday. <laughs> Those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I do $20 Tuesday every week, but this week is actually the start of my top fave series. I'll be showcasing my favorite wigs of this year, and I'm super excited to start off with my top 10 synthetic wigs of 2020. Now, some of y'all know that this is Is That Your Hair Holiday, so welcome to day eight. I hope you are feeling festive and in the holiday spirit because I am. And today's video is super special because I will be collaborating with my girl Kay, aka Taste Pink. Now let me tell y'all about Kay. I assume that a lot of you are familiar with her channel. However, if you are not, I don't know, maybe you are just new to the internet. <laughs> like for real. I've been watching Kay for as long as I've been watching YouTube since 2015 and I highly admire her work. I swear there's no type of tutorial like a Taste Pink tutorial. Her level of detail in her videos is, it just amazes me. I love that she takes the time to really explain thoroughly how we can slay these wigs. I've learned so much from watching her videos and I'm sure a lot of y'all have too. And it's been nice seeing her evolution over the years. And another thing I like about Kay, not only is she a master at her craft when it comes to hair, but I also appreciate the way she chooses to connect with her subscribers, her followers. If you're not following her Instagram, what are you waiting for? You need to go follow her, Pink Valenciaga. I swear I love kicking with her in the DMs about the things that are in her stories because <laughs> It's just so entertaining. And I just love seeing a different side of herself through that platform. And I can just tell that she truly cares about other women, the upliftment of women, especially black women, our plight, our struggles, and how we can overcome them. And that type of content means a lot to me. And from what I can tell, Kay and I have two things in common. We're both from the North. She's from Jersey. I'm from New York. And we both love to slay. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for joining me for Is That Your Hair Holiday. I truly appreciate it. Please make sure you check out her video and see what her favorite synthetic ways of this year are and tell her your girl sent you. All right, y'all, let's just dive right into this list. Just so y'all know, I have been wearing synthetic wigs for five years now, and that is actually what sparked the idea of these series of videos because during the summertime, I did some of my top favorites and I did three different videos and y'all gave me such positive feedback. So I was like, you know what? Let's bring it back for the holiday season. Hello. So I am doing top 10 synthetic wigs today. I'm also doing my top human hair headband wigs, cheaper headband wigs, top textured wigs, all happening this week so make sure those notifications are on so that you do not miss it now when it comes to the order of this list it was really hard for me to create this list y'all because <laughs> i have done over 100 videos on this channel this year so i was like hmm how do i narrow this down so just know that just because something is number 10 doesn't mean like it's less than number five, you know what I mean? I like all these wigs for different reasons and I'll explain as we go. Now, if you are curious about the wig that I'm wearing here, this is a $23 synthetic wig. Yes, $23 and I know you see what it's looking like. She's not giving me $23, honey. This little mommy right here, she's looking expensive. <laughs> And that's what I wanna let y'all know with these wigs right here in this video. You'll be feeling like a mill without having to spend a mill. You feel me? So diving into my top synthetic wigs of 2020, at number 10 is Bobby Boss Camille. How you gonna upgrade me? It's higher than number one. Woo, Camille! 
first of all, Camille is my auntie's name. Hey, auntie. Second of all, the reason why I loved Camille, even though she stressed me, fuck out. That girl stressed me out due to that white ashy lace. Once I learned how to tint my lace, thanks to this right here, and if you're not familiar, Ebony New York Tint Spray, please don't slay your frontals without it. This will get you to where you need to be, and it comes in a variety of colors, right? So once I learned how to tint my lace, oh, Camille was on and popping. And plus, that synthetic wig literally gives you that Brazilian, virgin, curly, human hair look like no other. Literally, if I walked out the house in Camille right now, there's no way you're telling me I'm rocking a synthetic wig there's no way now mind you when i first bought that wig it was like 60 dollars, and i was about to choke <laughs> i was like that, why is it so high but i got over it and now the price is lower i've seen her as low as 47 dollars on elevate style so if you like long color hair and you want your frontal to look poppin and really give off a human hair vibe without that human hair price highly suggest bobby boss camille all right coming at number nine these are two wigs and these are actually two wigs i reviewed recently i couldn't choose between them so i put them both on a list number nine of my top synthetic wigs of 2020 is Outre, Danita, and Charisma. No, I can't forget about my about two weeks ago and just so y'all know all the ways that I list here all of my reviews for them will be down in the description box in those reviews you will find purchase links and all of that my favorite part about these wigs is just the overall look like if you look at charisma those glamorous curls very similar to the curls that I have right now except that charisma is a frontal I mean Every person that has reviewed that wig thus far looks absolutely stunning in her. And she's under $40, y'all. $37, I believe, on wig types. And then same with Danita. Danita was my favorite of the two. That Bob style, I, I just, she made me feel like such a boss ass bitch for real. I felt so bomb in her. And it's funny because I really love Bob, but I really hadn't found a Bob that really stuck with me this year until I met Outre Danita. So if you want a Bob for the holiday season, highly recommend her. And if you love Love loose barrel curls charisma's your girl all right so coming in at number eight of my top synthetic ways of 2020 is outre drew and <laughs> me so hyped. I featured her on $20 Tuesday early this year and literally the price alone had me shook. I found that wig for $9.85 on Ebony Lime. And when I posted that video, y'all bought her up. Seriously. And then the price went up. I think she went up to like $12 after that. <laughs> Probably because all of y'all were buying it, but Duran, I mean, the texture feels beautiful. And that's one thing about me. I love yakky textured units. The yakkier, the better, in my opinion. It feels like my natural hair, plus it lasts longer. So I'll try Duran. She's just a, a great find. Under $15. Come on, y'all. Y'all can't beat that. Y'all can't beat that. Look at those curls. I got her in two colors. And for my melanated women who shy away from color, I'm here to encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. Whether you try like maybe a, a four color or a subtle blonde, maybe a 30, or maybe some highlights like a 1B30, try it. I get a lot of responses from women saying that they feel like certain colors won't look good on their skin. Oh, it looks good on you, but I don't know if it looks good on on me if you have skin that's brown like mine colors are literally made for you literally and the best part about it is with the synthetic wig the worst thing that can happen is that you don't like it so i highly suggest you know try out some of these colors with these synthetic wigs at a cheaper price point so that way you can work up to a higher price point if you decide that you do like the color all right coming in at number seven of my top synthetic wigs of 2020 is zuri sis can too i just keep them satisfied Another wig that was featured on $20 Tuesday and this wig just gave me all types of Janet Jackson vibes and if you know me you know I adore that woman okay so the fact that I was low-key looking like her had me really hyped I felt like I was in the middle of the if video for real <laughs> Love that hair and it only retails for like $22. You can find
find it on Elevate Styles right now. I mean, you just can't miss with that wig. Literally, once I tweezed out the parting area a little bit and shifted her to the side, she was a winner, winner. So if you're looking for a curly unit that doesn't break the bank, definitely check out Zuri Sis Can Too. All right, coming in number six of my top synthetic wigs of 2020 is Model Model Blue Metal. Let me tell y'all about Blue Metal. <laughs> First of all, the only reason why I purchased this unit is because I saw my homegirl, my wig twin, Brittany, aka the Hearts and Cake 90, she rocked her years ago. And I slept on her. I don't know why. Because when I bought her in 2020, I was like, are you serious? This wig came out four years ago? For real? If you like yakky, blown out textures like I do, you will absolutely adore Blue Metal. Her voluptuous curls, the length is perfect. I think it falls like a good 20 inches on me. And I have in a number two color. I swear, if it were not for COVID, I would have been at way more happy hours in that wig. Blue Metal just, she does something to me. <laughs> and if you have tried any of these wigs, in the past few years or so. Please let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you feel me. I just feel like Blue Metal is a classic and I think everyone needs to try her if you like textured wigs like I do. And the fact that her price point is $23? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm about to pass out just thinking about it. Blue Metal is absolutely a must have. On top of that, if you are new to synthetic wigs, she is super beginner friendly. Literally, I put her on, flattened on the top, added my powder, and I was good to go. You just can't go wrong with that type of ease. Just be mindful though, that with these longer synthetic wigs, they are prone to tangling, they are prone to shedding at some point in time. Some are quicker than others. I find that the yakier units, the ones that are of a more textured feel, they last longer. Wigs like this one I'm wearing right here, I'm not gonna last as long because it's a little silkier, but wigs like Blue Meadow, you're gonna get some good wears out of her. However, if you do have issues with tangling, this has been my new holy grail. This, this is a Simply Styling spray. This is a silicone spray, and silicone and synthetic wigs are very best friends. When you use this spray, it will definitely help you manage your synthetic wigs way better and I actually showcased this in one of my last videos and I showed how upon spraying this I was able to easily move my fingers through the hair that had been previously tangling. So I'm trying to put all y'all onto this spray. If y'all don't learn nothing else from this damn video, y'all need to get this spray. If you're interested, my Amazon link is in the description box down below. All right, so now we're in the top five and these are the wigs that like, <laughs> I just have so many fond memories in these wigs and I absolutely adore them. And I noticed that y'all too showed me so much love when I brought these wigs to the YT. Coming in at number five, I couldn't choose. So I got three wigs at number five and these are all synthetic half wigs. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the headband wig trend that literally took YouTube by storm this summer. And I hopped right on that train, choo choo. <laughs> So coming in number five, three of my favorite half wigs with headbands are Sensational Moneymaker, Sensational Imani, and Altre Nakaya. Now you'll notice that the main thing these wigs have in common are the fact that they are all textured wigs. Gorgeous textured wigs. That is like a theme on my channel. And if you like textured wigs as much as I do, I have an entire playlist. Literally like over 70 videos dedicated to textured wigs. Check it out down below. I promise you, you will find something that you will like. But these wigs right here have me feeling like a boss. Oh my God. And the price y'all is so right. Amani was like $12 when I bought her. Moneymaker was $17. You are getting a beautiful textured unit for under $20. And no, it's not gonna last you as long as a human hair unit, but you can definitely get way more wears out of it compared to a silkier synthetic wig. So I highly recommend the half wigs. I love the half wig headband wig trend. I love headband wigs in general. I think it's super convenient and easy. I think we all lead very busy and fulfilling lives for the most part. And so sometimes the last thing you wanna worry about is laying some lace, for real, for real. And I know that's been the tip that I've been on. So I'm all here for it. I also have a headband wig playlist. 
So if you want to see some more of my finds at all different price points, anything from like $10 to $200, it's all there in that playlist down below. All right, so coming in at number four is a new favorite. I slept on her too, and I finally put her on. Coming in at number four is Sensational Angel Face. <laughs> y'all 29 pesos for that wig and this is another beginner friendly option that literally took me barely any time if you are new to synthetic wigs if this is the first time you're seeing me understand that the value that you can get from these synthetic wigs are second to none yes you may have to repurchase some of them over and over depending on the look but the fact that i don't have to spend 30 minutes curling my hair with these synthetic wigs it really means a lot to me. Sometimes I just want the convenience and the look at the same damn time. So Angel Face is definitely one of those wigs that I highly recommend. She absolutely is one of my favorites of this year. And I wish COVID wasn't here because I could have had more time rocking her. You know what I mean? She would have easily been my holiday party work function hair. I would have showed up at Siege Job looking like, oh, who that? <laughs> That's your girlfriend? All right, coming in at number three, number three of my top synthetic wigs of 2020 is Altrae When I first tried Altrae Shanice from the Perfect Hairline series, I was definitely impressed. It's the type of wig where if somebody's trying to talk to you, you don't say nothing else. You just drop the cash app. <laughs> My time is money in this wig. <laughs> I've tried a few other blowout wigs before, but this one definitely took the cake. I feel like Altre really took the time to nail this texture. Other companies at the time had been trying textured wigs, right? So we had Janet Collection coming out with a natural hairline, Zuri Sis coming out with a natural hairline. Everybody was coming out with one, but I feel like Altre actually took the time to get our texture right. And so I saw that with Altre Shanice and automatically I fell in love, especially when I used my Revlon blow dryer brush and blew her out. Y'all can't tell me that joint was not my hair. Y'all can't tell me that. So she's easily in the top three for a reason. And at this point she retails for about $49. Still a solid find. She is a 13 by six frontal. So you do get some parting space. You can play around with her. I highly recommend her. All right, coming in at number two and number one. This was a hard decision y'all. But coming in at number two of my top synthetic wigs of 2020 is Outre Kamaya. Me and my people be rolling, scheming on you and your homies. The very first day of summer, all chromed out in a hummer bay. Hit the park and parlay, hope that you walk this away. Cause you and your girls wanna ride, play all day, puff on the line. Now, Outre Kamaya has received a lot of hype on the YT, and I wholeheartedly understand why. I feel like Kamaya embodies like the perfect synthetic wig. Her texture is like a, almost like a light press like it reminds me of natural textured hair that is blown out silk pressed and then curled plus she comes in beautiful colors that we all know Altrey for nowadays and the hairline looks great I mean she's bomb honestly and it was hard for me because I wanted to put her at number one right but Kamaya and I didn't get a lot of time together and I really wanted my top top wig to be a wig that I spent a lot of time with and unfortunately Kamaya only got like two wears out of me because I was also in the midst of the headband wig craze and that's what I was on. Now if Kamaya would have came out in like February or March, she probably would have ended up being my number one. But even still, her being number two makes no difference. I'm telling you, as soon as Kamal Trey dropped, I'm buying three more. Yes, it's that serious. If y'all slept the first round, don't sleep again. Altrey said that she was gonna be dropping before the year's over, and I'm like, hello, where is she? Where's Kamaya? <laughs> what are we waiting for? Oh my God, I'm so tired of waiting, but she is, she's that girl, she's that chick, and 
I just feel like no matter what color you get her in, you're gonna feel like the best version of yourself. So if you want a synthetic wig that damn sure doesn't look like a synthetic wig by any means whatsoever, get you a Kamaya. And Kay, I really hope you get that wig too and show her on your channel because she's just, she's too popping. All right, y'all, so this brings us to number one. If you've been watching this video for this entire time, premiere party, I know y'all are watching with me. I love y'all so, so much, thank you. Number one of my top synthetic wigs of 2020 is Outre Julianne. This is why I struggled, right? I chose Outre Julianne because the way Julianne made me feel at the time when she first came out was literally like the answer to my synthetic wig prayers. I kept saying to myself like, yo, Outre, if only Outre comes out with like a Nisha textured wig on a 30 by 6 frontal. I kept saying it on my stories and my videos. When are you going to come out with a textured wig on a frontal? Sensational did it, right? They did it with um, Letitia. I wasn't feeling Letitia and that's why she's not on the list because out the pack, I didn't like the amount of styling that I had to do to her. And cutting, if you if you watch that video, I'll link it down below. I, I mean, she came out gorgeous, but the process to get her there, I just wasn't feeling. But Julianne at the pack was acting like the newborn baby I never knew I needed. Like, <laughs> seriously, I was like, oh my God, you are the one. Come lay in my lap. <laughs> That's how Julianne made me feel. Every time I put her on, I felt like I was ready to go out the door. Even when we were in quarantine, I wasn't going nowhere. I was just going up and down the steps, like, Look at me, she's like, okay, I get it. You're wearing Julianne, right? I'm like, do you see me now? <laughs> she looks so good, y'all. I have her in two colors and I definitely would try her in more. She's a very thick texture, definitely very yakky. So just know that's what you're getting with Julianne. But I just know the way she made me feel and the fact that I wore her incessantly. I was literally obsessed with Julianne. Every time it was time for me to go do something, I literally picked up Julianne. Once I tinted the lace, she became almost like a throw on go, which was unheard of for me when it came to frontal wigs. So Julianne is still available for, I believe $50, $52, something like that. Definitely check my links down below. But she definitely takes the number one spot for this year because she just made me feel like a grown ass woman. And y'all know I turned 30 years old this year and that's just what I was on. I'm like, I'm trying to level up a little bit. And Julianne helped me feel that way. Now, before we end this video, I have to give an honorable mention. <laughs> I'm like, girl, like, wait, what? A lot of you are probably like, oh my God, here she goes again. But Julianne, I'm gonna let you finish, but I'll try Nisha 203 is still bae. I don't care. Nisha Soft and Natural series. I just feel like it definitely changed the game when it came to synthetic wigs and the texture it came in and the colors that are available. I feel like before Nisha 203, we had some colors here and there, but the amount of time they spent on perfecting the colors, the blending, the dimensions in the colors was not seen in synthetic wigs before that point. It just wasn't. To this day, I have like six niches in my house and I don't wear all of them now, but I still adore that wig. And you know, I just had to put it on the list because I feel like everyone should try Nisha 203. <laughs> She's just gorgeous. And she just represents how far synthetic wigs have come. So yes, y'all, this is my top synthetic wig video of 2020. All of these wigs are bangers in my opinion, so I hope this helps you, especially it's the holiday season. We're all shopping around for Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, and we wanna feel our very best, especially on a budget. So I'm hoping that this list helps you. Make sure you go check out Kay. I cannot wait to see the wigs that she's put on her list. Whatever she decides, I'm sure it'll be a slay. Also, if you're new here, tap that mm -hmm. subscribe button. You made this far, sis. You may as well go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell because i don't want you to miss the rest of my upcoming videos also huge thank you to everybody because we reached 20,000 subscribers what 
I'm so hyped about that. And I'm just sending my most sincerest thank you to all of you for supporting Is That Your Hair. Thank you for shopping through my Amazon links, for liking, commenting, sharing, for bigging me up during Is That Your Hair holiday. All of your love means so, so much to me. So thank you. And Kay, shout out to you because you're a real one and I support everything that you do and I'm wishing nothing but the best. Kay's about to reach 450,000 subscribers. So y'all better go tap the subscribe button over by her way too. And if you wanna see my video on my top 10 synthetic waves of all time, click right up here. And also if you wanna see some of my latest videos, check them out over here. Thank you all so much for joining me for Is That Your Holiday? I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, come on, look, look at that. This is what I'm talking about. Get these wigs, get them, get them. Do not wait, it's an emergency.